Round the clock champion part three, right. Taz defended the title and quickly left the ringside. Taz then ran into the parking lot and hid. He is now thinking about what to do next. He's doing a lot of thinking as Taz. If I was him, I'd... Oh, Christ. Suddenly, Bradshaw and Farouk enter the parking lot. Oh, no. What the hell do you want? I'll beat both of you up. Easy, easy. We came here to make sure that you are safe. What? You guys want to help me? Of course, being that we are the two baddest men around, we understand what, what you are going through. We came here to protect you. But everything has a price. You give us $1,000 and we will take care of your problem. Yeah, what, do you think you think I should do it? Yeah, let's do it. There you go. Lovely, we'll give them some money. It's fine. If we have, if I haven't got the money, then I, I, they'd probably tap me. you got to deal with our men of our words. Right, so there you go. So I've got some protection now to keep me safe. So, chapter 7. Wow, cool. Nice. Free from anxiety. A day later, Taz was going into the arena and was walking through the hall. Taz did not know that Viscera was waiting for him. Wait, wait, your belt is online 24-7. I'm going to kick the tar out of you. Hey, hold on a second. You should face me first, Taz. This is my job. Go to your locker room. Nice. While Farouk is taking care of Viscera, Taz enters locker room and finds Vince waiting. Wow, the storyline's great. Good work. You really seem to be getting over with the fans. I think it might be time to see if you can hold your own in the ring at the next pay-per-view. But you must do well on your next match. Okay. And my next match is what exactly? Perry Saturn. Okay, so I have to win this match. Uh, they spelt disqualification wrong. There should be an O. <laughs> But that's that's okay. So I've only got one continue. So alright. I'll do my best. This is actually pretty good, this hardcore division. The storylines seem to be a, a, like a lot more frequent than what I'm used to, which is good. Okay. Sorry, Saturn, but you've got to go down. Move. Move. Strong grapple. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He reversed it. He reversed it. Okay. To get out of here very quickly. I don't know what's happening now, but my steel steps have disappeared. Oh, there, there. Okay. Okay. Right, it's the count now. I might be able to get him counted out. Try. Oh, he's, he's just a hair away. Couldn't get him. One, two, three, four, five, I'm going to try and get a count out. It's a bit risky, but if not, then at least I'll have hurt him a little bit. Got him. Oh no, what? He reversed it. Oh, Jesus, get up, Taz, get up. Oh, for God's sake. Right, the controller just went the other way. I went to pull him out, but it didn't work. Got him, I think. I think I've got this now. Goodbye. Yeah. Got him. Oh, come on. He just got back in the ring. That's BS, man. You know it. Oh, 
just have to just keep punishing him. As I said, at least I've hurt him a bit more, so it's got his advantages. I would have loved to have had him counted out, but a legit victory will prove to Vince anyway that that I've got what it takes. Oh my god. Saturn's not to be bloody trifled with though. He's very, very tough. Because I'm discovering. Alright, let's try this. Alright. Punch, punch, punch. Punch him in the face. Okay, come on. Okay. Beautiful. One more should do it, I think. Oh, come on, Taz. He does that stupid walking backwards thing where you try to pin. It's ridiculous. That, that's the most annoying thing about this game. Okay, this should do it now. I should, should be able to pin him. There we go. So I've earned my slot on the next pay per view. It's probably going to be a four way or something for the title. So it'd be interesting. It's either that or a handicap match. Could be anything to be honest. But I'm hoping that for my first time they'll give me something simple. Chapter 8, okay. Match for honour. Wow. Here comes Cactus Jack. Wow. I heard that the current hardcore champion is unbeatable. I want to be the first to beat him. Taz, I would really like the chance to prove myself to you and challenge you. Okay, hardcore title on the line. I get to fight Cactus Jack. Amazing. No DQ, right. Here we go. So I have to win this match, essentially. I've got three tries. Um, I should be able to beat. Nick Foley anyway, it shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Leave. Oh, bollocks. A barbed wire bat. Move. Oh, come on. Cactus Jack's energy has gone right down. brought himself a ring bell so I might just utilize that if I can oh for crying out loud see that I tried I literally just tried to use it and I couldn't use it get up Taz it's the thing I don't know why it's taking so long it's like he hasn't really had that much damage done to him Ring bell now. Oh, what? That sucked. Okay. There you go. There we are. Twatted him with it anyway. I would have liked to just whack him with the B button and have multiple shots, but that's better than nothing. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Come on. Come on, Taz, get up. God, he's tough. Cactus Jack is tough. Can't do anything to him. Get him outside the ring. Ring bell. Got to keep on him. I've got a feeling they made cactus really tough in this game. I need to be ready for everything and for anything. Oh. Okay. Shit. Get out of the way. 
He's going for it. Weapons. He's going for all the weapons he can. But luckily for me, I've got a few tricks on my sleeve. That's it, that's good. Lovely stuff, right. Okay, suplex. There we go. Just keep on him. Keep keep whacking him. Lovely, come on. Come on. Lift him up. Okay, I'm gonna go to the top rope. Oh, and he got up. Cactus Jack got up, naturally. I forgot that he's very resilient and he can get up quite easily. I'm gonna just go for it, but it didn't quite work. Alright, I'll try and get a cheeky pin. It's not gonna work, but. Oh, it did work, okay. <laughs> I was like, it's not gonna work. And it did. I thought it was going to be tougher than that, but maybe not. Well, I beat Cactus Jack, so I survived the pay-per-view. More money. Less than a thousand I had to pay the APA. Here is the new hardcore champion, Taz. Please welcome the champion. Congratulations, Taz. Thank you for playing, but that was just the beginning. Good luck, okay. Oh, wow. So there you go, guys. I guess I guess I've done it. Won the title quite easily. Congratulations, you've become the Hardcore Champion, but there, there will be more obstacles for you to remain the true champion. You will be the People's Champion only when you complete all the paths to the end. Enjoy playing the other courses and good luck. So, see how it changes? Like, that's pretty cool. Like, he doesn't give you the same kind of writing as he did last time. We've earned some cash. And there you go, guys. That is the first uh, set of videos done for the Hardcore title. I really, really enjoyed that. I felt the storylines blended together really, really well. Um, the fact that you can like choose whether you want the APA to protect you is pretty cool. Or you can hang on to your cash. I get the feeling that if you don't, then they will attack you. So, yeah, that was pretty good. So next time, I'm going to be defending the title. So it will be another winning set of videos so I'll, I'll choose Taz and I'll just defend and just do what I need to do essentially but yeah really really good uh, this game just seems to get better and better and um, the f deeper you kind of get into it the storylines get a lot more um, less sporadic and more frequent which is what I like and you even get some different text as well towards the end so I have to say I'm so impressed with this game um, and even though there are a few spelling errors and uh, grammatical errors, it doesn't really matter because I kind of get the gist of what they're trying to say anyway. I mean, like, I've got a lot of respect for the Japanese because, like, learning English probably isn't isn't that easy. Um, I, so the fact that they took the time to translate this into English, I mean, I couldn't learn Japanese and the fact that they've done that is, is incredible. So, you know, absolute geniuses. And they just seem to know like what was going on in the WWF at the time or WWE I should say and like how to um, how to harness that and just make a really really good wrestling game and ultimately that's kind of what it's all about yeah making a good video game so yeah fantastic so brilliant absolutely brilliant so it looks like there's only about eight chapters, so it's not very long, it's kind of in the middle. I kind of thought there'd be more, to be honest. There's a little bit more than um, the Women's Championship, so I think roughly about the same as the light heavyweight title as well, I presume. Anyway, all that's left to say now is thank you very much. This has been Lucas McIntosh. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and would like to see more, one, I hit that subscribe button because what it means for you lovely people is you will be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week. Please don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Dodge This Game. I'm also on Tumblr 
uh, Dodge this game and also uh, you can find me on Facebook as well there should be a video link in this description and there will be a link on my channel banner as well so it's really really nice to be back playing uh, some No Mercy as I said I took a little bit of break from doing Let's Plays but as I said I'm back on the horse now and back doing what I, I love to do hopefully I will have some more Perfect Dark up as well towards the end of the week all being well Amazing. This never gets old. I could basically, every time, it's just such a privilege to be able to see the same thing over and over. Personally, at the end of every kind of chapter. So it's, it's very rewarding, to be honest. I just love the little remix music and stuff that they've got in the game, absolutely incredible. And as I said, we've got some more cash for Smackdown Mall. And as I mentioned last time, I will be doing a special video, a special Smackdown Mall shopping video where I go in and, and buy some stuff, so that'll be interesting as well. So just something a little bit different to be honest, I think. Oh, just amazing absolutely incredible as I said I remember at the time there was this there was Smackdown 2 oh it's a great time absolutely brilliant time for video games you know uh, I remember pre-ordering it from Electronics Boutique anybody remember Electronics Boutique they were amazing absolutely loved that store I used to pre-order games all the time um, and it's like if you pre-order it you get like free guide books and free little bits and bobs and which I always kind of remember to be honest incredible we appreciate the support of all our fans we hope you continue to enjoy this game so this game's just so replayable and so imaginative as well you know like that's what I love about it it's it looks so basic but you go into it and you kind of you can see how this would actually fit into an actual WWF WWE storyline to be honest because it was very very reflective of what was going on at the time so we just go and see how much we've unlocked and then I will end uh, this set of videos so let's have a butchers after Mick Foley's thank you Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Mick. Right, okay. Let's have a look. Okay. Um fourteen percent. So next time I will be defending the title. So thank you so much for deciding to spend your time with me. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you next time for some more WWF No Mercy where we will continue to delve deeper into the hardcore division. Take care and I will see you soon.